Can't believe we fucking did it. Arsenal wins 4-2 against Valencia in Valencia, which means Arsenal wins 7-3 on aggregates between two legs of the Europa League semifinals, which also means Arsenal is going to the Europa League final. This is our first European final we are heading to since 2006. Obviously, Losing to Barcelona in the Champions League final, but we are headed to the Europa League final, which we will talk about in a minute. But first, let's talk about the semifinal and why we got this man's jersey up top. Because initially, Valencia brought it to us. They were the faster uh, players on the pitch, um, disrupting defense for, for Arsenal. And early on in the first half, Valencia gets their goal in. 11 minutes in, wide open wing. I can I couldn't believe how fucking wide open that right wing was. And it, you could blame it partly on Maitland Niles, but at the same time, the three stooge effect of Socrates, Mustafi, not Mustafi, Koscielny, and Monreal all kind of activated all at once. And Gamero gets a free goal right in front of Petr Cech. And Arsenal's down 1-0. And now at this point in on aggregates, you know, we still lead three to two, but a three two lead means absolutely nothing. We've seen what happens in European competitions over two legs. Uh, deficits absolutely mean nothing, you know, unless you have the fucking drive, you know, which Arsenal looked to show only a couple minutes later. Um, despite the fact that Arsenal looked absolutely atrocious on defense, they looked lackluster at best between Monreal, Koscielny. Uh, and and Socrates is just all kind of limbering about, you know, we figured out how to get this shit away from the third half on, on the defensive side and bring it towards Valencia. And what was able to happen in a quick transition, Petr Cech kicks it out, Locke is able to balance the ball out to Aubameyang, Aubameyang who bounces it off his chest, pretty much just two bounces off his dribble, just fucking powers that ball in from outside the box to make it one all and grabbing the first goal for Arsenal and that was the biggest away goal he could have scored right then and there to make the lead four to two now again two goal leads mean absolutely nothing when you have a team that is desperate enough to throw everything they have at you it's going to be a really tough test and this pretty much cemented how uh, Valencia was going to play this game. They're going to play rough. They're going to just get at our faces. And Arsenal sustained some damages early on. You know, they were giving us some poor looks. But at the same time, they were giving a lot of great chances on the other side. Lacazette with a very wide open shot. Um, unfortunately missed it. And that was put potentially the 2-1 lead that could have put us ahead very early on. And really pressure and kill this game off. But you come out in the second half. Yes, Alakazet does score early, 50 minutes into this game. And the way the way Lacazette just just scores this is is fascinating. It's a fascinating tale of how uh, Aubameyang actually worked this ball. He was able to retain the ball, about to lose it in the defensive side. Passes it out to Lucas Torreira. Lucas Torreira able to bounce it in to uh, Lacazette. Lacazette just pirouetting all over. Getting the goal right in front of Neto. And it is just bananas. It is absolute bananas. Me as an Arsenal fan, I'm screaming my head off thinking, oh my god, I cannot believe Lacazette just scored that kind of goal. To put us 5-3. Ahead 5-3. And as a 5-3... I want to say 5-3. But at the same time, I'm looking at the goal and thinking, all right, this could be rough because Valencia might just throw everything they have. And they did. They absolutely did. Only eight minutes later, uh, Petr Cech had his hand on this attempt, but ends up going in. And Gamero gets his second goal of the game, gets the brace. And it, it just a frustrating moment for me where I looked at that Arsenal defense and thought, all right, Petr Cech might have had his hand last at it, but boys, what are we doing on the defensive clearing side? We, we're not helping out Cech at all. It just looked like another frustrating moment uh, for for Arsenal, just looking stagnant on defense, a little bit lackluster at times. But Arsenal able to hold it out 
and in the 69th minute gets a goal from Aubameyang. And this is just a really solid, solid low cross from Maitland Niles, who gets actually a long pass out way, way fucking wide. I believe it was probably from Monreal or Xhaka, if I'm not mistaken. But from, from way out wide, gets the long pass in. Maitland Niles just able to put in the low cross into the box. Aubameyang netting that goal in, no problem. Gets his second goal of the game, 6-3 to three on aggregate, and... Man, you just have to think if you're a Valencia fan, this is a huge mountain to climb. Arsenal just scored three away goals, right? They scored the Aubameyang, you know, first goal, Lacazette, and then, you know, Aubameyang with his uh, second goal to make it three away goals. Huge mountain to climb. And if Valencia just came, you know, stuck to that same kind of play style as the first 15 to 40 minutes of the game it, it might have been a difference but again that kind of style ex- exhausts you out I mean you're you're playing the ball from out wide way fucking long you're trying to dribble it in and, and defenders are getting more physical Arsenal p- was playing five in the back and you would imagine you know it will, it will shut down time but Arsenal decides to just put on a fucking show Aubameyang getting his hat trick 89th minute of the game Top fucking corner. I don't know how the fuck he cut that corner right in, but Matteo Guendouzi with the beautiful pass to Aubameyang to allow him to get that hat trick. And it's just a phenomenal night for Arsenal. Uh, Just to win 7-3 on aggregate, to win 4-2 away after abysmal away performances in the Premier League. Seriously, we have been fucking terrible away from home. I mean, when we're playing at home, fantastic. We're doing a good job. Away from home, we have been a fucking travesty. However, the boys went out and did a huge thing today to to win away, to close off the semifinal with a definitive win. 4-2 away from home, a hat trick from Aubameyang, and our first European Cup final since 2006. I know, we lost to Barcelona, there's a lot of complaining about refereeing, but we're not here to talk about that. We're going to talk about what we can potentially see in this Europa League fucking final, 2019, in Baku, Azerbaijan. I had to actually look that shit up because, quite frankly, I don't know Azerbaijan as well. So, the winners of the match between Eintracht Frankfurt and Chelsea became Chelsea in penalties. Yes, I got to watch... The last, you know, extra, you know, extra minutes, extra time, and penalties for Chelsea and Frankfurt. Quite the crazy game. Uh, Kepa to make that score just not go any further in the penalties. You know what I'm saying? Just having Frankfurt at the heels like that. This is going to be a really tough test for Arsenal. I mean, obviously our domestic rivals, so so to speak, we we do truly hate them. I mean, any, you know, club that's from London and not Arsenal, we, we generally tend to hate them, right? But this is going to be a really tough test for Arsenal. And this is going to be a tough test for my fucking schedule. This cup final will be on May 29th, 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in the USA. But you know I'm going to be up. You know I'm going to be watching this fucking game because Arsenal is in a cup final. We have the potential to win a cup. We have a potential to give back into the Champions League next season via winning this cup. And it is going to be challenging because Chelsea is a club that is used to European success. They've won the Champions League once already, uh, whereas Arsenal, we haven't seen European Cup success in decades. Um, If you have to, you'd actually have to rewind back to the 70s for Arsenal uh, winning a European Cup competition. But we have an opportunity to make history uh, for all Arsenal fans that, that have stuck it out and all the young Arsenal fans, old Arsenal fans, any Arsenal fans, we are going to a cup final, boys and girls. I can't fucking wait. And it is going to be an all-English European fi- uh, cup finals this year. You have Liverpool and Tottenham on one side in the Champions League, which makes me want to fucking vomit. And you have the Europa League final between Chelsea and Arsenal. Again, three London clubs. And oh, this is going to be quite the fucking show. So... Come on, you gunners! Let's fucking go! Let's get that cup! Follow me at the Skylands and all the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily content. Come on, you gunners! Fuck off.